Hi guys, welcome back to Retro Renovations. So this week is a bit of an unusual week for us. We haven't been filming. And the reason why we haven't been filming is we want you to get over to Facebook. If you're a Facebook user, get over to Facebook and check out Walking for Prospect. All will be explained there. Not a Facebook user, then I'll quickly fill you in. Face walking for prospect. Peggy, this week is walking the entire length of the Kennet and Avon Canal. It's 94 and a half miles, but Peggy started right at the front and she's gonna go what beyond the bit what the book says and she's gonna finish up. I think it's the USS Great Britain, something like that, in Bristol. So she did about 100 miles for charity. The Prospect Hospice in Swindon. It's an end-of-life care hospice very very good cause so if you haven't got Facebook but you do want to sponsor her because like I say she is walking a hundred miles in all weathers and I'll show you what it's like today it's crap www.justgiving.com forward slash W K A C and that stands for Walking the Kennet and Avon Canal, W-K-A-C. So www.justgiving.com forward slash W-K-A-C. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do now, we've been moved back into Faith for this week, for this, uh, for this walk. Faith is our wheel home, no not a wheel home, travel home transit coach built what's left of it <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to show you all the pros and cons to uh, to moving back into this van we, we we moved out of this van we lived in this van for 18 months now and it's been lovely and uh, we moved out in the 1st of March after successfully almost completing the Luton build so we moved into the Luton build on the 1st of March uh, this one had issues, the roof was uh, sagging inside, there was leaks and so on. And pretty much since, well it hadn't moved since November last year, it was in the corner of the yard in November last year. So it hadn't moved, it was out of MOT. And obviously from the 1st of March when we moved out of it, I then stripped all the ceilings out and started doing bits and pieces in there. and yeah never finished it so well i've just done enough work to get it through the mot so we could use it this week for the walk because the looting on this journey this this is hard enough taking this vehicle around on the journey the looting would have been an absolute nightmare going around on that journey so i've been staying in some lovely park ups and, and sites this week traveling about while doing the kennet and avon so i'm going to take you through this lovely little midget door here and show you the pros and cons of this week of the van and then what I'll do is because you don't want to really listen to me all the time I'm going to show you just a few snippets of the I'm the support crew I haven't been walking the hundred miles I've done quite a lot of walking except today I've walked quite a lot of it with Peggy I've walked obviously two or three miles to meet Peggy in and two or three miles back that's what I've been doing each day so me and Jackie boys can quickly show you this van and what it's like at the moment and then I'm going to show you a few snippets that I have recorded on this week's journey and put some nice photos in that because it's been it's been a lovely place. The Kennet and Avon is a lovely, lovely place to visit. So I'll share with you some of our photos. Now, obviously, Peggy's journey will be uploaded later, later in the week. She's now on day five. Uh, so she's done over 50 miles. 
amazing amazing and even though she's had the on and off drizzle she's had pretty good weather until today today is tipping it down so if you are able to sponsor her nip over to facebook walking for prospect and uh, give her a cheer thank you very much so like any transit old style cab let me take the keys out doors locked yep let's go through the midget door who is behind the midget door is it you are you behind the midget door oh yeah you're gonna come back in the front now okay as you can tell we did a little bit of walking didn't we jackie boy we did a little bit of walking and we've already met peggy on her first stop and now we've parked up again and she's going to message us when she's close and we'll walk up again and meet her. And that's what we've been doing the whole time. So I'm just going to take you through into the cab. What have you been doing to the cushions, Jackie boy? What have you been doing to the cushions? Oh, I'll do them in a minute. You don't want to see doing that. So we've been... When we lived in here, we used to sleep up there. We had a ladder come down. And we used to sleep at the top. We had a mattress as well. We've taken all the mattress out. And we've taken the ceiling out up there. And as you can see, I've started to, to insulate up there. But it's a curved ceiling. And I'm going to put some wooden beams across. So at the moment, there is no ceiling. And the reason why I haven't done any ceiling up there is this skylight was continuously leaking. But it's hammering down rain now. And it's bone dry. So after a long fight, I've successfully managed to get that one stop leaking so quite confident now that we can carry on and uh, and do the roof this side we still had a leak and i have pinpointed it to in there so that could be sorted out and that's where the solar comes through so that's why this side is all out this side is all done and sealed it's all nice no i haven't washed up yet i will wash up that's what we put in the skylight to keep us dark at night the only other thing i've got to fix which i quite like this i snapped the clip yes i did i snapped the clip so it should look like that but it looks like that but the good thing is when you undo them they are screwed in there so i'm thinking i can unscrew it and use some model glue and put it back in and i'll add a little bit of plastic give it some strength now we was slowly doing this van up to sell it. It's all equipped with solar. And you probably saw a video recently where I did all the sparkling. If I go in here, this is the bathroom. And we did all the sparkly ceiling. And I did a quick video on replacing this ceiling. Well, I've really chuffed with this job. It's been a really nice pleasure coming in here. The camera doesn't pick it up, but uh, this goes this does lots of rainbow colors when the light reflects on it. you can just about see it above my head there when the light shines it's a bit of a gray day today but it really does rainbow colors in there i'm pretty pleased with the bathroom um and like i say the roof up there above us a bit that was gonna sell it but after this week me and peggy have decided we like it too much and there's gonna be too many adventures so um you like it in here too, don't you, Jackie boy? Yes, you are you're all wet. You're all still wet. I rubbed you with a towel. I did. I rubbed you with a towel and you're all still wet. So, I apologise about that. Don't affect you guys. It affects me. I'm getting wet. I'm getting wet and we've got to go meet Peggy again in a minute. So, I'm going to share with you guys the videos of what I have recorded on the canal. Hope you enjoy. I'll put some video... I'll put the... Thank you. I'll put the photos in afterwards. Um, and it's just to say, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the subscribers who are staying with us. We're going to cram in so much this autumn. And we're going to cram in so much in 2021. Even we'll be knackered, but we'll enjoy it all together along the journey. Enjoy the videos and photos. And, uh, and Peggy's route. I'm member on the support crew. This is mine. And Peggy's personal journey should put together and edit and put it all together soon and share it with you guys.
I'm the captain now. I control this ship. Now try away, Jackie boy. You're the driver. You're the driver now. And here's Peggy. Hello. Is it hot? Six miles. Six miles. Six miles. Six point three. Six point three. Keep going. Jackie boy. Tell you 
about how much I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did. But I promise, dear, I never let you go. 